South African researchers are claiming another milestone in combating HIV and AIDS. This after scientists at the government-funded Center for the AIDS program of research in South Africa engaged in HIV antibody research discovered neutralizing antibodies that could lead to a development of a prevention vaccine for HIV and possibly a cure for AIDS in coming years. Yes, so only um, a small proportion of people make these special kinds of antibodies. Um, it depends how you define them, but roughly about 20% of a group of people will make these antibodies, and we don't understand why. Um, and part of this research is also to try and to try and understand that. But just to reiterate that the the the, the people that make these body neutralizing antibodies, unfortunately, it doesn't help them because the the antibody is essentially a step behind the virus, um, but, and until the virus escapes, the same way it escapes antiretroviral therapy, and so. And so uh, the, um, the idea is, is that if we can induce these kinds of antibodies by vaccination, so the antibody is present before the person is exposed to HIV, that they would be then protective. Professor Lynn Morris says they are now trying to understand how these so-called broadly neutralizing antibodies develop in HIV patients. The ways that they could possibly develop is that they could also develop gradually. So in other words, the arms grow longer and longer over time, eventually um, you know, being long enough that they can reach in and neutralize the virus. Or they could start both having long arms, and then they just need a few changes in order to become broadly neutralizing. And so that was really the question that we had, is how do these long-armed antibodies <coughs> develop? Health Minister Aaron Mutualidi welcomed these new developments in the field of HIV and AIDS research. The Minister of Science and Technology was also present. We are a step closer to the day when we'll eventually have a viable vaccine because of what is being announced here today. This announcement is welcome with pride by the Department of Health as it tells us a little more about the HIV virus and how the human body in selected patients is able to fight it. These studies illustrate the importance of research and the need for patience and dedication. It's a, it's a real privilege to be here and to be associated with these world-class scientists and researchers like Ben Morris and Michelle Mulder and uh, Penny and many others who are doing unbelievable work, outstanding work in our country and have really put our country very uh, firmly and solidly on the map of uh, a country that is doing exactly what Minister Mutswa Lady would like us to do, and that is be in the forefront of the attempt to um, combat and finally put an end to this uh, HIV AIDS problem that we're trying to deal with in our country. Four local universities took part in the research. Scientists at VETS, KZN, UCT at the Western Cape teamed up with local and international health organizations, including the U.S. That National Institute of Health and South Africa's National Institute of Communicable Diseases. South Africa has the highest prevalence of HIV and AIDS in the world. 30% of global antiretroviral drugs users are to be found in South Africa. I'm Makwe Namanamela reporting for Business Day and Financial Mail from Johannesburg.